16 students got 28 days. As I reflect on my 28 days in Shizhou, one must consider the habits before the hike, lessons learned during the hike, and how the learning has been applied to activities afterwards. We came here with many purposes. The main challenge for me was time management. Back in Shanghai, I would do things last minute and regret it. Typically, on the first day, I would work on it for about an hour, and then I would ignore and forget about it for a week. And then I would get a reminder about it. But then I look at my calendar and say, oh, there's still plenty of time, I'm fine. Then time flies by and there's a huge project due tomorrow. And what do I do? I stay up all night working on it and tire myself out. The three day hike was an extremely intense 72 hours from which I learned more than I ever thought I would. We hiked all the way up to 3232 on the first two days, then came back down on the last. The first thing I learned during the hike was that we have to keep going, no matter how difficult the situation was. During the first hour, I was ready to give up, hide in a hole, and puke. But Mr. Taffel told me to not give up and keep going. Eight hours later, we all finally arrived at our destination. One way for me to stay together during the first eight hours of the hike was for me to distract myself from the thought that I couldn't make it. I was sick the day before, so my mind kept telling me that I couldn't do this, that I was going to fail, fail miserably and die before I could make it to the bottom. But then Mr. Taffel showed me some distractions. He told me to find a certain target, get to it, then find another target and repeat. The mountain, unfortunately, does not climb itself nor do projects just to finish themselves either. Instead, we have to be the ones that finish it, because we can't expect anyone else to. During the hike, the most effective way to get to the top was to maintain a slow and steady pace. If we were to try sprinting, we would never get there because we would collapse after a while and stay there for a really long time. If we just put an extra 10% into every step we make, then we will not need to spend as much time and energy to try and catch up to what we didn't take. Then I thought, with those lessons, they could help me not only physically, but mentally as well. I was extremely behind on my inquiry work, and that if I applied them to my habits, I could change into a better person. I got back to Yangzhou Ran, where we are currently staying. I worked more than I ever expected to. I tried not to get distracted, and I kept going even when things were difficult. I was not going to just sit back because projects don't finish themselves. Within a day, I finished phase 3 for local contacts. I was finally caught up. When I finally finished, I was honestly surprised with myself. Never had I expected to catch up so quickly. I never like to try on anything. But when I do, perhaps I could finish things after all. When I get back to Shanghai, I'm going to try and keep the lessons I've learned in mind, and the habits I've developed in Shizhou. I'm thankful for the three-day hike experience, and I hope the 72 hours will not be a waste. I would like to thank my group for making me a better person. Most of all, I would like to thank my chaperones, Mr. Tafel and Ms. Mai, for always being there for me and helping me. This was what I learned in 72 hours. Those were the three days I didn't waste. Those were the three days that made me think about how I was going to spend the rest of my hours. So how are you going to spend yours?